Rico, great to see you. We were worried about you in November, December, very poorly. Just tell us about that. A tough time for yourself, but thankfully all fitting well now. Yeah, all well now. Um, it's caught an illness randomly, but um, the doctors helped really helped me with the um, medicine they were giving me and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm all back fit now, so I was happier. We think of you as unbreakable, indestructible, yeah. but a couple of days in hospital, I know your little lad was poorly as well. So I yeah, I, to be fair, I thought that as well. I'm never never usually ill and stuff, but um, yeah, once I caught that, I was just thinking about to recover as soon as possible to get back and be out there with the boys. How much did it take out of you in terms of coming back to training? You know, I guess you were out of puff for a few days. Yeah, um, I was, so I, once I come back, I had to just do a bit of running to get that base, get my fitness back up and stuff. Um, I think I was running for about maybe six weeks, five weeks and stuff. But um, yeah, I think I'm fully fit now. I'm not probably the fittest I could be, but I'm working on that every day to try and get back to the best that I can be. I know the fans are very concerned about you and a lot of good wishes coming in. I, I know that you, you're grateful for that. Yeah, of course. Um, the fans are all supportive. Um, my teammates, especially the gaffer and um, Sharon as well, are messaging me all the time. So yeah, I didn't get the chance to actually um, say thank you. So I just want to say thank you to, to everyone that was supportive and stuff. So yeah. It was a good thing that they didn't have to rush you back because the team yeah. was going so well in your absence, which uh, both yourself and Geth missing for a spell and, and the team were having a great little run. Yeah, the boys were flying, man. And as I said before, we've got a great squad now where people can rotate players and people can go in and, and do a job. So that's good, good to have. You have a comeback there, thankfully. It's great to see you. You helped us through to the semi-final of the Papa John's, a big one, then a real big league win the other night. How, how nice was that? Yeah, buzzing. Um, that... Papa John's game was quite hard to be fair, defending for about 45 minutes, but um, got the job done, one day, one nil, and Tuesday night as well, not what you want to get a red card, but um, the boys stuck together, there was a lot of passion and fight in the group, and that's what we have in this team, and yeah, we're happy to get the three points. Yeah, but people have said a different type of Bolton Wanderers performance, you really dug in, and as a defender, and another clean shoot, that must have been very satisfying. Yeah, um, you've seen it before, Port Vale away, done the same thing, and um, We've got that in the team, we can play as well, but we've got passion, and which is, is most important, and the fight and you grind up, grind up wins. It's a new club record, seven successive home sheets here, which is fantastic. You can claim a small little bit, <laughs> yeah. that you're allowed, but yeah. uh, great testimony to everybody, that. Yeah, of course, man, and when I went playing, I was always supporting the boys, and especially the back three that I was playing at the time, and um, just always encouraging them, and just being a supportive, supportive person, and um, yeah, the boys were flying, especially, say, Traff as well has been amazing recently, and uh, um, I won't just say it's the back three, I'll say it's the whole team. It starts from Dion, the way he presses up, up, up the pitch and stuff, so helps the back lot a lot. And um, yeah, it's good. Hopefully we can get a few more. Yeah, but it was uh, back to winning ways and, and, and firmly back on track. You've been a great run, one defeat at Derby can happen. They're flying, but uh, you go to Charlton in good nick. Yeah, of course, we're in a, I feel we're in a good place at the moment. Um, camp's positive and everyone's together. And um, yeah, we want to go there and get three points. And, put a statement in the league where we, we're trying to push on to, to get promoted. Yeah, not easy, of course, they're going well themselves, but there was a great night there last year, I remember, a really yeah, good yeah. away win, I'm sure you're trying to rekindle that. Yeah, um, they're doing well themselves, I think they picked up a few results, yeah. but um, we're going there to just focus on us and, and go there and implement our game and get the three points. It's a real good scrap in that top six, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's some big clubs in there, some real informed sides, no quarter asked or given. You can take nothing for granted. You've just got to keep on churning, churning it out and picking up points. Yeah, we always knew that this league's a good league and um, the top to get promoted is not, it's not going to be easy. You've got, to, you've got to fight and you've got to perform for it. And um, yeah, we're, at the moment, I think we're in a place where we're doing that. We're playing well. And um, as you said, one loss in 10 games. So at the moment, we're in a, we're in a good place and we just want to build on that and hopefully get more wins. So lastly, it must be great to be back in your rightful place, as, <laughs> as it were, to be back playing and playing well the other night. You've had a, a tough time with that. Looking forward to a big finish to the season there. Yeah, it's going to be a big finish. We know it's going to be very hard. Each game comes, it's going to be difficult. And um, I think the, the closer it gets to the end, the harder it gets. So we need to roll up our sleeves and get ready for that.